Good morning friends. So today we are going to start something interesting. Okay? So before that, I'll write a word on the board and you will tell me what clicks to you when you read this word. The word is jungle. Okay? There are trees in the jungle. Very good. Animals live there. Very good. And forests and jungles are basically habitat for animals. Yes, very good. Okay, now I'll give you another word. Camping. What comes to your mind when you hear this word camping? Is it something related to hotels? Okay, no, it's different from hotels. Very good. Okay, camping is generally you go in forest. And you make a temporary house, you pitch a tent, and there you live. You enjoy the peaceful life, the serenity, the, you know, of the uh, forest and jungles. Okay? And you may go for trekking. Very good. Okay. Now I'll give you a situation. Next. You go to a mall with your parents, children. And while playing in the PlayStation, you feel you're left alone. You're, you're lost. What will you do to come out of the situation? Anybody? Yes, you may go to any uncle and aunt and give your parents phone number. They may call your parents. Very good. You may go to the reception and you can ask them to make an announcement for your parents. You will cry. Okay, I think it's a very natural instinct. You may cry when you feel lost. But is it going to help you in any manner? I don't think. You have to find a way to come out of it. Okay. Now I'll narrate a story to you friends. We will read the story. The name of the story is Two Boys in a Jungle. I'll first narrate the gist to you. Okay, what the story speaks about. There were two friends, Amit and Velu. So Amit goes to his friend Velu's house in Kerala. And when he goes to Kerala, he finds a beautiful place. You know, trees all around, greenery all around, tall trees. So he asked his friend Velu, why is it so such, why is Kerala such a beautiful, your house is in such a beautiful place? He tells, Velu tells him, the climate here is very good, it is, the soil is very fertile and we have lots of jungles and forests around. So we go for camping also. Would you like to come for camping? We are going from school in another two days. So Amit says, yes, I will come for camping with you. So they, all the friends, Velu and Amit with other friends, they go for camping. They enjoying their, cooking their own food, listening to songs, enjoying the beauty of the jungle. Wow, one night, Amit and Velu, they sneak out. Can you understand what is the meaning of sneak out? When you don't want to let others know what you are doing, you go stealthily, quietly. Okay. Uh, they, they, they want to explore more about the surroundings, so they sneak out. Now they enjoy the sounds of the animal cries, the serenity of the night, you know, and then they lose the track. When they want to come back to the camp, they lose the track. But finally, they find the way to the camp. While they are coming, while they are on the way back to the camp, they hear a sound, hum, hum, hum. Oh goodness, there, there is an elephant nearby. Oh my God, suddenly they heard a loud trumpeting of the animal and it is there in front of them. Amit and Velu, they clung to each other, whispered in each other's ears. How to save our lives, the elephant is about to attack us. Oh my, suddenly you know one of the friends, he had something in his pocket. He took it out, it was a bag with full of sweets, he dropped the sweet, he blew it like a balloon and he hit it hard, he burst it, bang came the sound and lo and behold, can you imagine what happened? Animals are afraid of sound, the, uh, the elephant retreated back and they both of them dashed back to the camp and heaved a sigh of relief when they reached back because they saved their lives. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed the story. Okay, now we will talk about different things. First we will talk about the vocabulary, the new vocabulary that we come through during the lesson. 
Okay, very good. Whisper. And what do you mean by whisper? When you talk very softly in somebody's ears. When you don't want others to listen. Yes, very good. Trumpeted is a loud sound made by an elephant. The sound made by an elephant. Okay, fertile. When the soil is good. Very good. When the soil is good to grow crops. You get plenty and abundant of crop. Alright, explore when you, when you want to find out more about your surroundings or anything. Sigh of relief. Let us link it with, link it with the story. Uh, you know, Amit and Velu, when they reach back the camp after saving themselves from the uh, elephant's attack, they heaved a sigh of relief. You feel relaxed when you come out of a problem. Okay, so we'll write the word meanings. Next, we'll discuss the sentences. So let's try a few sentences with these. Fertile, say fertile. Okay, alright. So let me give you an example. In Punjab, the soil is very fertile. So the farmers grow abundant of crops. Very good. Uh, let's discuss for sigh of relief. Say my grandfather was discharged from the hospital. So my parents heaved a sigh of relief. Alright. Now, children, next. Now, we will discuss about the importance of pasta forest. What, just think children, what will happen if there are no forest or jungle around us? If there are no forest or jungle around us? Okay, uh, where would the animals live? Very good. Where would we get the oxygen from? Yes. The ecological balance will get disturbed. Very good. And uh, we should also speak about the conservation of uh, forest and stop animal poaching. You know, many people go for hunting and they kill deers and elephants and lions, which should be stopped. Okay, so now we we'll write a passage stating forests are a precious treasure for mankind. We all believe in that. Okay, now, now let's see what have we learnt during the day. Now, next. So, you have been able to read it with the correct pronunciation, the story. Then you have understood this, uh, the story well. You were able to write the word meanings. You were able to make sentences. You also could, uh, 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 you know, attempt the question answers because you comprehended the story well. You developed a life skill, how to face a challenge. You also learned about the importance of forest around us and uh, how to protect, conserve them. Okay, so in the end, we'll take a pledge. You will all repeat after me. I will plant a tree every birthday to keep my surroundings green and clean. Thank you.